Next, we would like to welcome Mr. Albert Liu, CEO and founder of Neron, to share with us. MPU makes personalized GPT possible. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Albert Liu. This is our so. Chairman, Director General Hong, distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Albert Liu, the founder of Neron. We have heard the presentations from many tech world, or tech world leaders, and I think we have heard one key word, MPU. The company that started to scale and mass produce MPU was actually Neron. Today our topic is AI PC. I have a PC here. This is embedded with Neron's MPU. MPU is not about replacing anyone or anything in Neron. And also, we work closely with Qualcomm. And recently, we will announce our collaboration with a major GPU provider in the world. In the MIC's presentation, and it seems like there was a mistake about Qualcomm's schedule. But for Neron, it's even worse because we have we don't even see Neron's name on the MIC's presentation. I think we have been talking about AIPC. What's the definition of AIPC? I think AIPC is about. LLM is about running LLM. The PC that I have in my hand doesn't have a GP, discrete GPU, but it can run LLM with the MPU we include in it. I think so far we haven't seen any hardware being able to run LLM on device. So our MPU is unique in that it can run LLM offline, and it's this small. You can see it in my hand. We don't need dissipation chamber for it either. It can be incorporated in a PC motherboard as well. And offline LLM means that it's a simple uh, GPT. When you put this chip in any device, it can run a simple GPT model. We propose this Edge GPT machine concept in 2017 and 2018. When a very small LLM or a chip that has an LLM function is embedded in an edge device, this edge device becomes an intelligent device. For example, inside my phone, there is an LLM chip. So this phone now can be able to tell what's my action. It can help me, for example, when I'm walking on the road, it can help me to identify sale information uh, of a supermarket that I'm passing by right now. So when you have all of your devices, including your refrigerators, your IoT home appliances, your car, when you turn them into an intelligent machine, this is an edge GPT machine concept. This makes um, LLM universal, and our MPU can enable your device to run uh, LLM on device. We believe that there will be more universal use of MPU. In Qualcomm, in Intel, they have been talking about energy, a performance, cost, and privacy. And these are all things that MPU are very good at. So in 2017, Neron launched our first generation MPU. Actually, in the United States, in Triple E, there is a publication that's very widely read about MPU, and that's actually written by me. In 2020, Neron is the first 
to propose the KL720 and NeoCloud together, and then 2021, we launch our first transformer AI chip. And today, I'm showing you our latest chip, KLA30. This is the chip that I have embedded in this laptop on my hand. What's this latest um, AI chip published by Neron? It can support Transformer. Most major suppliers, they use GPU or CPU or even memory capacity to run AI models and Transformers. So at the end of last year, we launched our transformer supported chip, and this year we are launching A30, we can, which can further tr support transformer operations. We work with Qualcomm for 720. A30 has better performance than 720. And it's a 16 time improvement. We are, uh, this is also a comparison between different state of the art. So you could see Neron performs very well in power efficiency. Ecosystem. Most companies look at developer interfaces, be it Keras, TensorFlow, in addition to these developer interfaces and Neron, we make our developer interface very simple, straightforward. It's something that looks like um, an interface you would see on your mobile phone app. So on our developer platform, you could see the developers can come in and even for an amateur developer, they will be able to develop their applications on our uh, platform. So as a user, I can go to this platform and download the applications that can solve my problems. We support LLM. So in addition to image, sensing and identification, we also enhance our LLM model. So A30, 140, they can, for those devices with these chips, they can go to our platform to download these applications. So for us, our developer interface is not just about serving the developers, it's also about serving regular users and consumers. You have seen this concept before. That is, when we think about AI ecosystem in the future, it's going to be a hybrid model where edge devices and cloud-based services run together. November last year, we created NEO 300. Later on, you can try it. I have it here with me and NEO 300 is designed for a small team. It's a GPT inference machine you can own yourself. This machine is a private GPT that focuses only on processing your data. And then we are going to have NEO 330, which has better performance than NEO 300. It's good for 40 to 50 people team. and. Right now, there are already many companies and also some teachers in the United States, such as from Sanford University, who have procured NEO 300 so that they can load their own data into this personalized GPT machine. This is not just about a personalized chatbot. It's a personalized machine where you can put in your data and train your own model. 
Right now, there are about seven to eight financial institutions in Taiwan and also medical institutions in Taiwan who are using our products because they contain very sensitive data that needs a higher level of privacy protection. So they're introducing our products to their um, services, to their, to their internal use. I have a video that I need to play here. I need some assistance here. This one. Could you click on it? Could you please click on the slide for me? So you could see uh, the conversation the, is very quick. The response is very quick. It's MPU. So low power consumption, very eco-friendly. And you can see that I asked a question here. And you could see that because it's very specific to a certain uh, data, so it can actually have a source of the data here. So when you, when you use ChatGPT, it doesn't have this type of referencing um, function. Something that we would like to announce here is that Neron is not looking to replace any uh, chip maker in the world. We are assisting them. In a few days, we are going to have a major announcement, our collaboration with a GPU maker. So um, this GPU maker has realized that there's a lot of limitation to GPU uh, size and uh, heat dissipation. So they are combining their GPU with our MPU product. And according to our test results, the power consumption can be lowered by 30%. And it's around 800 watts to 1,000 watts. This means that you can save five to 10 US dollars in your electricity bill every day, and that is about 3,600 US dollars per year. So it's a major improvement to uh, processing power as well as in energy consumption and carbon footprint. We are looking forward to the spread of AIPCs, but we also know that price will be a critical point. So this is an AIPC we have created. You can try it. Have some hands-on experience later. So here you can see there are a lot of applications in stable diffusion, and I haven't seen any offline LLM so far. So when you have transformer accelerated chip, you can enable such an offline or on-device LLM. This is a very entry level notebook. It's a very basic notebook. There's no uh, independent GPU, and it can already do such a powerful uh, offline LLM support. Here are some AIPC applications that we have seen, be it summarizing in your video conference, um, hand gesture recognition and gesture control. And I think the biggest sell point of our product is RAG. About 80% of PC users use PCs in their day-to-day -day work. So they work on their PC. So for example, when I work on my PC, it's impossible for me to connect to OpenAI or to the cloud when I work on confidential business information on my laptop. So I think AIPC is going to have a very important niche here be NEO 300, 330, or AIPC. Neron is, as today, the only company who can enable RAG on your PC. Virtual Assistant is also an important application, but we believe that in the future there will be both 
edge AI and cloud-based AI working together. Here are some other applications. For example, speech synthesis. For example, maybe uh, Jay Chow. This is a singer that I love. I can use AI to create a um, song, song uh, by Jay Chow, or I could choose a sound or voice of a celebrity that I like to serve as the voice of my virtual assistant, or it can become a companion of uh, my mother who lives alone. Of course, people don't want to send their personal information or their voice um, spectrum to the cloud. So this is very good for edge or offline um, AI processing. We have unique MPUs that can enable a device to run AI offline. In this PC, it's embedded with CPUs from major suppliers and also technology from Qualcomm. So it has a lot of the specs that you see on the slide and edge server, IOTC, automotives. Uh, these are some of the areas where we have our collaborators. Now, when we create ecosystem, we not only work with developers, we would also like to help more people understand what AI can do for them. So AI literacy on every level. We have organized competitions um, where we see high school students, even elementary school students participating in these competitions. They develop simple AI applications. And we want them to be as local as possible. And these are some of the publications we have published around the world. Our MPU has won us many awards, including awards from IEEE. And uh, we are also able to publish um, our knowledge as a textbook published by IEEE. So, now we have textbooks for higher education institutions as well as for elementary school students where we would like to promote this AI literacy. This is Neron's exhibition in Computex where you can see offline and private GPT solutions, AIPC solutions, and a GPU plus MPU accelerator card. We would like to thank um, the GPU partner for working with us in the future. I believe that CPU, GPU, MPU will each play their role and maximize their potential to enable AI applications. And we also have intelligent driving for automotive. So this is something you will be able to see in our Computex exhibition as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.